before um, I found a real lack of motivation amongst students to do this kind of thing because it really did feel like an academic exercise. Um, we could talk about it, but then to get anybody to come up with ideas was very difficult because it would feel like, well, why? So in the end, I often would find that I would be leading the tutorials. So um, I could see the potential. Um, I often would have opportunities from real clients who wanted to come in with stuff that they wanted doing. Um, and then we could take that forward and deliver real solutions for them. But I wasn't sure that we would actually be able to deliver for them because I know that the students had lacked motivation because of the paper-based exercises. So what I feel we're moving towards with the cameras is this sense that this is real. Um, I've seen in class now that when the students work on these exercises, and something that I wasn't really prepared for is when they come back having taken the pictures, there is this amazing sense of, you know, I can call it engagement because that's the word I should be using, but it's actually thrill. The class is just full of noise. Um, not, you know, anarchy, but absolute sort of people actually who hadn't spoken to each other before, actually starting to speak to each other, starting to sort of share, oh, that, that wow, I can see what you've done with that, that's brilliant. And then people laughing when something comes up on screen, people explaining to the other sides what they've done. And the whole class just comes alive. And I can finally sort of get to the point where I feel, yes, this could work as a professional uh, working environment. To such an extent that I've now been motivated to the point where I'm more at a stage where I'm confident to put in a funding application to set up a student-run agency in the future. So I'm at the point where I'm about to put in that application and I feel confident that I can commit to that um, and I can seek to get pro professional um, uh, potential partners to come in on board as non-executive directors. So just from seeing that with the photos, I've actually been prepared to put that leap of faith in to go the next stage further. Um, I thought there would be some difficulties with the equipment when we got it because everybody was panicking. Other, other lecturers when we got it were so we must have some training, we must have some training. And, um, and the, 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 the big sort of drive from the centre was about you know learning through play and, uh, and I'm a big supporter of that but when the equipment came I was like <laughs> but then um, when the students started using it I could see that happening in practice so I was quite happy with it. Um, it would still be nice and I, if I'd had more time to factor it in I should have got more professionals in from industry to do some of the stuff that I know some of the students have talked about in terms of when we've had guest speakers in about how to set up a shot, what kind of shots you're looking for, that kind of thing, so that they could be getting insights from that kind of thing. So that would be one thing. I just, they, t they thought we were taking it seriously. Um, I think they, they may have taken, used their photos um, on the phones for events, for example, tweeting during an event. Um, but I don't think they'd have found the motivation to do so. In terms of responses to live briefs, it just wouldn't have happened because they just felt we'd have been doing it on the cheap, it just wouldn't have been real. Uh, whereas this, they get a sense that there's some sense of uh, professional execution to the challenge that we're setting them. Um, also feel, um, even though there's, there's fewer cameras than the number of students, um, bringing them together in a group um, actually makes them feel like they are uh, collaborating on a piece of work and they're able to learn from each other. If they'd have been doing that on a phone, it wouldn't have felt the same because they'd have all been hunched around one person's phone. If they'd have been doing it on their own phones, you wouldn't have got that sense of collaboration. Um, it's, it's important uh, because uh, it's, it's one of the sort of learning outcomes on the courses. Uh, it's also important for professional practice because you're always going to be working uh, in groups, so it's something that's very important. Often the students don't see that, you know, if we set them a group assessment, they often will don't see the point of it. Well, if we can set them a challenge where they're working together on a, on a piece of kit, they're more likely to see the connection with that and, and the outside world, so that works out quite well for us as well.